we do a lot of this statewide, but obviously it's very important that this is in my hometown and, and county, and, and I appreciate you being here. Mike, before I forget it, Mike Bunch in the back is our leaseor. What a beautiful job you've done. You've done everything we've asked you to do, and we appreciate you. It's a wonderful product, so thank you for that. Um, I'll tell just one little story before we get into the, um, the remarks and the ribbon cutting. Uh, I'll tell you how good it is to always be in East Tennessee. When I went to Nashville six years ago, uh, my predecessor in this job, Bill Gibbons, who was from Memphis, and some people here are very familiar with him, wonderful guy, wonderful friend, but he was from the Memphis Delta region. And one day he and I were talking about, Kate, come on up please, City Councilman, Kate Center. We were talking one day about a guy that one of us needed to talk to. And he said, well, me or you one's gonna have to talk to him. And I said, well, I don't care to. He said, okay. He said, well, why not? And I said, why not what? He said, you said you didn't care to talk to him. I said, no, I don't care a bit to talk to him. He said, that's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> why don't you want to talk to him? I said, commissioner, let, we just need to stop a minute. We're misunderstanding each other. I said, that is East Tennessee for I'll be glad to talk to you. <laughs> so uh, it's always good to, to be back home. Uh, this is, you know, we really try statewide, particularly with our DL centers. Uh, we've, we've had some bad locations throughout the state. And we've really tried to get our employees, our staff, and the public into very professional, clean, modern uh, sites. And I think that's what you see an example of here today. And the staff does this. Uh, we have 1,850 employees in the department. About 1,000 are state troopers. 600 are, are DL personnel. Uh, 26 Homeland Security personnel. Another 23 highway safety personnel, some support staff. But the Driver Services Division, uh, this is an example of what they're trying to do statewide a modern, clean, well-located facility. And it's, it's my particular honor to stand here today and have staff out of Nashville, our communications director, Megan Buell, our deputy communications director, Wes uh, Moster, and, and others, and Lori will introduce her staff. But it's really an honor for me to stand here with friends behind me, elected officials from the city and county, uh, chamber staff, uh, <coughs> members of council, members of the county commission, uh, members of the General Assembly, uh, Senator Sutherland and Representative Goins, and it, it's just, um, it's a special day for me. I appreciate the chamber, Deb, <coughs> I see you in the background, I, I appreciate you always helping me when I call you to, um, to kind of organize a crowd. So let me uh, turn over the remarks to the Assistant Commissioner for DL Services, uh, Lori Bullard. Uh, Lori and I have known each other for six years. We've become not only colleagues, but good friends. She's retired from the Memphis Police Department, uh, was a, a colonel with the Memphis Police Department. A colonel in Memphis supervises about 220 officers. Mm -hmm. So she had her own little police department before she left, but she's done a really good job for us. She's going to introduce the staff. Lori. Thank you, Commissioner, and, and thank you so much for your support in all this, because whether this would have been in your hometown or any other city, you would have been just as uh, supportive of us and helped us with anything that we needed to get this project underway. It seems like it's taken us four or five years to finally settle into a location. I know we had a, a double-wide trailer for a while and then and moved about half a block up the road and they were in a smaller facility. So when I walked into here today, it was amazing the space that they have in here. And we, we also have room to expand. So I think that they're pleased with that. Um, we have an excellent staff here. They work very hard. And a lot of people came together as a team to make sure this was opened Monday, last Monday. Um, Director Hogan and his team, uh, Melissa Long, who's the regional manager, the district manager, Ronnie McDaniel, all of those, they had meetings every week to make sure that everything got done and everything was just on time. So I, I really appreciate all the, the hard work that y'all did. Um, we also have with us today Donate Life, who we partner with to raise awareness on tissue and organ donation. 
Uh, and, and they brought us some refreshments, and then we also have refreshments in the bag. But we do thank Donate Life for being here. Um, and, of course, all the elected officials, the local and city officials, thank you so much for your support. It means a lot that you would come out here today to, to m commemorate this special occasion for us. Um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming together and making this happen. So, uh, ribbon cutting. Before we move to the ribbon cutting, let me ask... Um, Mayor Chesney or Mayor Britton or Senator Sutherland or Representative Goins, if you want to say something briefly, you don't have to. But well, just uh, thank you for investing in Morristown. And uh, I know that it, the facility is uh, centrally located and on easy highways that get in and out of. And uh, that's one thing we want is convenience. So thank you. Well, just speaking to the convenience aspect of it, and by the way, I just see Jill from Senator Corker's office here and, and Bill Darden just walked in from uh, Congressman Rose. So we thank you for being here. But just speaking on the convenience aspect of it, I want to thank, of course, Commissioner Perky, Michael Hogan. I've worked with you on several initiatives in Nashville to try to increase the convenience for the customer at the end of the day on these things. And um, This morning, when I got here a little bit early, um, I went ahead and got a number and I got a my lifetime carry permit removed and I did it in record time so I know that it's working so thank you I just like to say on behalf of the city of Morristown I, I'm glad to be here and see this place my my driver's license expiration date's always January 30th and I always seem to remember it February 1st <laughs> so <laughs> I'm glad to know where to race in and uh, uh, and, and take care of that but uh, again thank you for investing here I, I, I was not quite as aware that that this was also a hub for surrounding counties to come until I, I got the tour and um, uh, of course Morristown's a hub for a lot of shopping and school and, and church and all of those things to the area and uh, and, and because everybody's got to have that driver's license, here's where you come to get it. And we're, we're glad that, uh, to be here in this nice facility and uh, welcome and it's uh, a good group to have gathered. And then uh, we just want to, from Hamlin County's perspective, uh, congratulate you guys on the new location and appreciate the partnership that our county clerk's office has with the state of Tennessee and, and uh, the issue of driver's license renewals at our satellite office on Highway 25A. We appreciate, appreciate that partnership.